Uh, so let's warm up a little bit and, uh, and then we'll get started. Okay, and you can either sit in a chair or stand and I think I will stand this morning. <clears throat> okay, so just have your feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees slightly and let's slowly raise the arms up a little bit. Again, just think of yourself sitting in that hot tub, go up to your neck in the wall, push down and back. Lift the arms up, up shoulder height, push down and back. And reach for the sky. Push down and back. Okay, then let's form a ball on the right side with the right hand on top. And we're just going to rotate the ball over to the other side, turning your head slightly. To the other side. Turn a little bit more. And turn at the waist 180 degrees. <clears throat> As you rotate the ball. And let's bring the ball to the center and we'll just push the ball forward and back. <clears throat> You can also shift your weight forward and back as you're doing this. And the ball, Judy's joining us. And bring the ball back to the center. And the ball, stretch your fingers and relax them. Back to the center. Relax. We're going to go vertically with the ball and rotate the ball. The other side. <clears throat> Then we're going to reach to the diagonal. Reach for the peanut butter jar. Well, let's do the other One more time on each side. And just let your hands float down to your side. You're going to make some big inward circles. And just remember to breathe while we're doing these movements. And make some big outward circles. Just let your arms float down to your side. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we are uh, in our third week, uh, a five week session. And I believe we left off 
last time. Uh, on Repulse the Monkey and then uh, the Single Whip. So, uh, so let's go through the uh, entire form uh, for the first 12 movements. Uh, we'll, we'll go from uh, Play the Pipa to the end. Okay, so <clears throat> you can have your feet shoulder width apart as we begin. And just relax, bend the knees slightly, and let Start the well versus me. Step up, white crane spreads its wings. And the brush the end push three times. step up with the right foot and to play the pipa and repulse the monkey. <clears throat> we have time today, so let's do it six times. time on each side. On the ball on the right side, and both step and walk off the grass to the top step. Pivot and turn like the ball. Both step and turn the board off. Press the peacock's tail on the right side. Into the single whip. To cloud hands. Take three steps to the left. Right diagonal, another single whip. Here, and a half step up, open up the palms, turn and look at your right palm, and face forward at the horse. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, so let's go from uh, play the pipa. So here we are and play the pipa. Go into Repulse the Monkey. Okay. 
What's happening inside? <clears throat> On the ball. Oh, step into the water. That's the peacock's tail. Back and push upward from the waist to the shoulders. The ball on the left, the left hand on top. Both step when you do the warm up over on the right side. Rest the peacock's tail. the single wheel. And when we make that single whip, see if we can have each finger touching the thumb. And we're going to step to the left diagonal. And we're going to go in and step up with the right foot. So at this point, both, both feet are together. Now we're going to step three steps to the left, side stepping to the left. Step, step, diagonal, another single width. End up right here. We're going to do a half step up. Open up the palms. Turn and look at your right palm. And then face forward. It's a high path for horse. We want to end up with the left hand at your side as if we were holding a carrot, patting the nose of the horse. All right. So, uh, So let's do uh, repulse the monkey. Check the time here. Okay, let's do repulse the monkey. Uh, so when we when we start repulsing the monkey, turn and look at your right palm. Bend the elbow. You know, step back with the left foot. At about a 40 angle, and as the palms come over each other, remember you should feel some heat. Palms go over each other, and a pivot on the right toe. You're going to look at your left palm, elbow, step back with the right foot at that 45 degree angle. Palms are going to come over each other. As they do, you should feel the heat in the middle of your palm. And the palms don't touch, they just slightly go over each other. Give it out the left toe. And remember, we want to pivot on the toe and not the heel, because if you heel, it just brings the feet too close together and throws us off balance. Um, so let's do it again. your palm, bend the elbow, step back, palms go over each other, and we're repulsing the monkey, so we're actually pushing your opponent in the chest as you do that. Step back, palms go over each other. And here, let's do it a couple more times. <clears throat> Bend the elbow, step back. Oh. Bend the elbow, step back, pivot on your left toe. 
one more time on each side. And on the right side. Pivot on the left toe. Okay, so then uh, from there we're going into the ward off. So uh, on the uh, on the last repulse, the monkey form the form of ball. Remember, we're shifting the weight forward, shifting the weight back. Shifting the weight forward again. Shifting the weight back. And then shifting the weight forward as you do the push. And we're going to turn and pivot, form the ball. Do the bow step. And doing the board off on the other side. Grasp the peacock's tail. Shifting the way forward as you do the push, locking back. And the way forward again as we push from the waist on up to the shoulder. And we're going to turn. Uh, actually, as we as we pull down the peacock's tail, you know, we're going we're gonna to make that turn. We're pivoting on the right heel. Okay? So when you pivot on the right heel, you want the right foot to be going straight ahead. Okay, we're going to do that single whip. As you do the single whip, remember when the, the hand, the left hand comes over to the left shoulder, turn the palm outward, and then we're going to step do the push. Rock back, we're going to pivot on the heel again, so the left foot goes straight ahead. Step up, then we're going to go into cloud hands. <clears throat> um, one of the things, one of the uh, uh, difficulties with, with cloud hands is is keeping the, the synchronization of the uh, of the hands moving at the same time. So uh, people may uh, have a tendency of, of stopping. Stopping the movement as you're doing this, so you want to you want to try to make each uh, side equal, going at the same time, the same speed. And remember, when we do the cloud hands, we're we're, we're actually following the palm and then turning at the waist. We do it. Side step, follow the palm, turn at the waist. Just remember to bring the other foot in. Otherwise, we end up trying to trying to do the splits and hurt, uh, especially at our age. Okay, so let's do the cloud hands one more time. Yep. Bring in the right foot. Step to the left. Turn at the waist. Bring in the right foot. Step. Turn at the waist. Okay, so then we're going to go into the single whip again. So on that third 
flat hands, that third step, we're going to a 45 degree angle with the right foot. Do our single whip. End up here. Shift the weight forward as you step up with the right foot. Open up the palms. Turn and look at your right palm. Okay. So when when we when we do the hike at the horse, it's almost like the uh, like repulsing the monkey. Go again from the single whip. Let's go this way. All right, so how are we doing on our tone movement? So let's go through the entire form uh, for the first 12 movements one more time. Okay, so remember to have your feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees slightly, wrist your back. Keep your shoulders. And side step in. Side. versus pain three times. Hmm. White crane spreads its wings. Rushing and push three times. Half step up with the right foot and play the people. Almost the monkey. Then we repulse the monkey three times on each side. One more time on each side. Ward off and grab. Next tail. Move up a little bit. And grasp the hex tail on the other side. Single whip. And cloud hands. Three steps to the left.
except to the right diagonal, another single width. Step up into high path doors. All right, so uh, <clears throat> so we got about four minutes left. Uh, I did. I wanted to go over the uh, the longevity qigong exercise, the breathing exercise. Uh, so let's begin uh, again with our, our feet shoulder width apart. Bend the knees slightly. Just relax. Palm to your side. Fingers touching the outside of your thighs. And here we go. Two dragons go towards. Remember to breathe. Two tigers go into hiding, soaring up into the sky, seeking the moon at sea bottom. The abbot lifts the bronze, and the wild goose lands on flat sand. Elderly monk lifts up the chi, leading away the goat. Okay, so uh, so when we do the uh, uh, when we bend, uh, when we go down <laughs> uh, for the uh, the abbot lifts uh, the bronze urn. Bend the knees and try to keep your back as straight as you can and look straight ahead. Uh, bend over, because that's going to throw our balance off. Okay. So, bend the knees, try to keep the back straight. Again, as, as, the, uh, as the wild hands on flat sand, bend the knees, keep the back straight, and you use your leg muscles as you go down. Little monk lifts up the chin, and go. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Uh, we have time to do that, and then we'll do our Tai Chi salute. So, two dragons go towards the sea. Two tigers go into hiding, soaring up into the sky, seeking at sea bottom. The abbot lifts the bronze urn, and a wild goose lands on flat sand. Elderly monk lifts up the chi, leading away the go. Okay, so let's do our Tai Chi salute. <clears throat> right on schedule. So with the right hand, and the fist stands for power or strength. The fingers are friendship, and the little thumb is humility. And just place the fist into the palm of the left hand, extend your fingers and cover up the little hole in the fist with humility. And to show respect for each other, we bow and we say, Pang Yomen Jin, Pang Yomen Zai Jin, and Pang Yomen Zai Jin, uh, which means goodbye, friends. <laughs>